Hello guys, this is a short Blender tutorial in which I want to show you a texturing technique for low poly models. This is the new rifle mesh that I created for my low poly FPS game kit and it has several separated mesh parts. You can hover over these and press the L key to select them. For instance here the mag, the trigger or this part here at the backside but the whole model is just one mesh. Ok, first let's have a look at the material, it's a very simple one. I opened the shader editor so that we can see the node setup. It is basically just a principal shader and a diffuse texture. The roughness is set to 1 so that we don't have a shiny material and the diffuse image is assigned to the base color. Alright, so let's open the UV editor and you see the texture that I assigned has just a few color squares. Ok, now how can we use this image for texturing? Let me show you. First I go to edit mode, then press A to select all the faces, then I press U and select reset. Now Blender tried for all the faces to set them to the full size of the image. Then I press S and scale them down so that their size is a bit smaller than a color square. Now when I move all of them over this color square, you can press G to move them, the whole mesh is gray. Ok, nice, but I want other parts to have different colors. So the only thing I have to do is to select these parts, first I deselect all and then I hover over the parts like this one, press the L key and it gets selected and the UV islands on the right side as well and I can move these over a different color square. And that's my coloring and texturing technique for low poly models and the great advantage is that you can reuse the image for all your meshes in your project. And when you think about using these as game assets, you can use one material with a reusable texture and this is great for performance because you just have one draw call. So you see here I'm doing this now for all the parts, for that I want to have different colors. For this mesh it's a bit boring because I just used two colors. But I guess you get the idea. And this is the textured model that you can use now in your game engine. So guys I hope you liked this technique. I wanted to share it with you because it's easy but really effective especially for mobile games. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Support me by being my patron. Follow me on my Instagram, on Twitter or Facebook. And I see you in the next one on JNM.